this point, the machine is ready to set up. Press the diagnostic and set up button. Basic information has to be set up first. The machine serial number, for example. That can be found engraved on the bottom front of the cabinet. An asset number is required for Tito use. You can put any number in here. Setting clock. Note the month is in the middle and day is in the first field. You can tap those and enter as needed. Device setup is next. This has a Ithaca 850 printer and a JCM bill validator. The machine inspects the devices and finds them okay. Credit setup is next. I like to do the first thing is the base denom because the accounting denomination is in pennies in most machines, but denomination formatting needs to be set first. I prefer to have a comma. Then one penny accounting. Adjust any limits. These are limited by your jurisdiction. With the accounting locked in, then you can do format the game's configuration, DNOM configuration. The 25 is for the button panel, that is the number of lines in this game. The 90 roughly refers to the percentage which is more described at the end of this field. When you click, you will have the type of denomination, which is pennies here, and a list of selections. Pick which one you want. When you are satisfied, you can hit save. Any mistakes on this area will require another RAM clear to fix them. And then you must save for all pay tables. Communication setup is required on all machines. Typically, we set for SAS, SAS primary. Configuration is address of one. We do have a Tito system installed on in this machine. It is plugged into the first port and we are going to use system validation. This allows it to accept and receive tickets based on the computer's own reading of the ticket. Enhanced is a secure protocol. Standard will allow the machine to print a ticket but not accept any tickets. We do want it to accept tickets so it's in system. Double checking. Once this is the way we want it, there is no progressive on this, hit set. It will lock out some changes. But then we can set SAS to machine control. This again tells the machine control that it can accept vouchers in and out. Game setup. up. 
sound. And the game should launch. Closing the door will launch the game. This setup, by the way, needs to be done with the door open. It does not have to have the logic open, but just the main door. With the game fully launched, setup can now complete. A few settings can only be done after the game is launched for the first time. There can be no credits on the machine to make adjustments. Once again, press the diagnostic and configuration button. In this option, we want to set the bet option, max bet, to match the button panel. It is actually correct at 250.
Since we did set up Tito on this machine, let's give it a test. <laughs> 